Are we on? Do we have to wait until six? No, it's on. Started. Is it? Let us know in the chat if you can hear us. Let us know, I have no idea what I'm doing. We'll give it a few minutes, we'll see if people join in. One second. It's a hell of a evening. Hi guys. Is it working? Yeah. Ah, nice one, ping. Perfect. Sorry, we, we have never done this before, so we're winging it. I have no idea what I'm doing. First ever live stream. We've got some Leos in the house. Favourite Thai beer. What's your favourite Thai beer? <laughs> you got that bottle open now? Yeah. Check this bad boy out. Got the I Love Veracruz bottle opener. Straight from Mexico. It's actually not a very good bottle opener. It's crap. It's crap. Are you going to put this in your drink? Oh yeah, we've got a bit of a we've had a bit of a long day, so I've had to get an M150. Let's check the shot out. Great. Bon Bon Diao. Hello, how's it going? Hello. Tim Tense, absolute legend. Thanks for joining. Oh. Mum and dad are in the chat. <laughs> Gaz Butler, yes, oi oi. It's hard to do this. What have we got? Gaz Butler said singer always. Singer? We've not had a singer yet actually, we've just been on the Leo's, we've been a, a one drink man. Chang as well, Chang's alright, but I think it tastes a bit like, I'm gonna say, I think it's a bit like piss water. Sorry. It's sweet. It, it's alright. Ciao Tom, happy new year. Happy new year to you too, thanks. Oh, hello my friend. I can't read your name because it's in Thai. Who have we got? Got some bird feeder. Where is wintery Aviemore? Where is that? Is that Australia? I think the live stream's a little bit delayed as well, is it? I'm gonna go and get that filler. Off your bum. Yeah. Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year! Ah, my back. I've got it all going on here. We've got an ice bucket. It's a Leo ice bucket, too. What is it? A Leo ice bucket. Your mum. Lecky, Sawadikab. How are you? How was your new year? Your mum said happy new year. <laughs> happy new year, mum. Happy new year, Liz. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Your uncle Phil says. Oh, Phil at Riding. Oh, oh, classic, classic Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. Hey, Steve, thanks for joining. Thanks so much. Appreciate you watching. Oh, 
loves it. Yes, legend. Mm -hmm. If you haven't checked Gaz Butler out, the roaming cook, make sure you do. One of the best men in the food game right now. <laughs> See you like in Anta. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. My girlfriend, she's called Alicia. Alicia. Introduce yourself. My name is Alicia. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, your mum's answered for me. Yes, that's Plus right. <laughs> well, you once said, where are we? Mm. We are ne on the Mekong, on the Mekong River. What is little town called? Right, so we are in a little town. It's a tiny little town. It is called Ta Uten, and it is near oh, okay. Nakon Panom. That's like the biggest town near to here. We're just in a little random hotel. It's really nice here. There's not much going on, it's just peaceful. So yeah, we're on the Mekong. It's beautiful here. Yeah. Your voice is very soft. Speak a little loudly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will try. Oh yes. Tim Tents in the chat. Tim Tents also has a great channel as well. He just done a huge Nepal series, which was absolutely awesome. So go and check that out. And after New Year, he's um, heading off. Where are you going, Tim? Sri Lanka? Is it a secret? <laughs> the food in Tak looks so good. I need the chicken and rice. The, the food best is, chicken was really and good, rice. Wasn't it? it was delicious. The sauce was amazing. That sauce that they made. It was so good. Yeah, they made this special sauce and it was, what was it? Fermented soybean sauce yeah. with ginger. Loads, loads of ginger. ginger. In the shop, like literally behind where we were eating, there was like a mountain of fresh ginger. Yeah. And they must go through buckets a day. It was delicious. The best sauce ever. Now I have Kalman and I'm like, oh, I need that sauce. <laughs> that was the best um, chicken rice shot we've been so far in Thailand, actually, mm. that one. It's really good. Delicious. That's a bold statement, but. Go on. Right. Roy Winkley, what's happening here? It's a Lee live stream. It's intense. Oh, I'm missing everyone. Happy New Year, SB. Tim said it's a public secret. Tim Tent, Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> everyone he's, knows now. He's outed it. No, we look forward to it. I have no doubt you'll kill it. Oh, oh, so, someone's wrote in full Thai. Sorry, I, I can't read Thai. <laughs> I can speak very little basic Thai. I cannot read whatsoever, I'm sorry. We don't have the time to learn. Stevie. Oh, Tom Father, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Cheers. So have, how do you say cheers? Tom. 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 <laughs> how long have you been in Thailand? Your Thai language is coming along very well. Ellis is very Seriously. good at Thai. No. In reality, like it might sound like we are good at speaking Thai, but we probably like our vocab our vocabulary is really small and it's probably like ninety-eight percent food related and that's about it. <clears throat> but we've been how long have we been here now? We're actually we're actually nearly have to leave because as English people we get forty five days without a visa and then we have to leave. But we will be coming back. Right now I think it's like thirty five days we've been here. More maybe. Maybe more, yeah. In fact, yeah, we have like a week left. Mm -hmm. Cheers, Steve. Come on. Oh, Fanta's here. Keep Sawadika, Fanta. Sawadika. How are you, Fanta? Thanks for joining. Oh, you're a mum. Oh, I, can, I, your chat. I can read the chat here. I'm checking yeah. my chats at left, but I'll, I'll start checking it on here. How do you do it? John, John. John, how do you say with a glass? Is it. Chongao, or is that with a can? I don't know. Chongao. Visa rum. Steve, we will be going to Lao. It does make sense because because we're on the Mekong. Lao is literally... Oh, it's dark. It's dark. I'll try and show you. Lao is literally just there. So we'll go to Lao for a bit. And then we'll keep the rest of the plan secret. Eh? But we are coming back, definitely. We, we love this country. We didn't realise how much we were going to love Thailand. Yeah, we'll get into that when we start answering questions. <laughs> right, one week left, yeah. Sad stuff. We actually are pretty sad. No. It's flown by, it's like, it's nearly 40, 45 days, that's like a month and a half. It's but... gone too quickly. Oh, what's this, Prowet. Happy New Year to you too, thank you. See you relax. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> I wish I could retire. Someone else is coming all the time, very sorry. Very sorry. 
Shang Khan. No, right now, Fanta, we are in. It is what is it called? Ta Ta O Ten near Nakhon Phanom. But we we've, we've just been in Shang Khan and we loved it. We were there for Christmas. Shang Khan for Christmas, and it was beautiful. It was so nice. I'd say it was one of my favourite oh, places in the country. Definitely, yeah. But it was so busy. The walking street at night. Oh my goodness. No, the Thai people are yeah. crazy in Chiang Kai. So they love that place. Busy. People from Bangkok. Everybody was from Bangkok. Yeah. It was really nice though. Just like John Google. I wish. Can you up. do it? <laughs> you translate it. And put it in the chat for us. This is the manager in the chat. <laughs> GDF. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. I will actually. So I try. I'll try and show you where we are, but. It's a bit iffy. Right. It's a bit pitch black, yeah. Got phone set up on a tissue box. So pretty much our hotel is this is our bedroom here. And then essentially we have got the Mekong River view just there. You can't see anything at all though. But this is Lao. This is um this is a I forgot what this town's called, but over here is Takek in Lao. And in the day there's just loads of massive limestone mountains. It's well smart. What's this? Down down here, it's like, I think this is like the border police or something. I have no idea. But the blasting tunes. Let's get back on. Maybe I oh. think it's because tomorrow there's a outside our room, literally at 6 a.m. There's going to be a Lao market where everyone is coming across the river and selling all the products from Lao. So I think the border police are there ready. <laughs> To oversee what's happening tomorrow, maybe. Right now, it sounds like it's having a massive party, doesn't it? We're always just sat. Every we, we've been driving all day, and all we've seen is like police checkpoints, and they're just sat. Like, they're just sat there chilling out on the phone. Or it's New Year, isn't it? It's New Year. Everyone's in yeah. party mode. Go on, I missed some in the chat. Yeah. So, Judia, Putra, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. I missed one. Prakong. Happy New Year, Charlotte. Where are you watching from? Everybody put where you are watching from because I have no idea where our viewer base is from. Are you from Thailand, Australia, UK, US? It's a stupid time in the US right now, but... Pamwan said, are you thinking of moving to Thailand? Well... Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. We do love to... It's one we of our favourite yeah. countries we have visited, definitely. Yeah, but we don't know where we want to... We don't know what to do with our <laughs> lives, essentially. <laughs> But well, we like, definitely want to come back, that's for sure. Yes, yeah, so we need to spend, we, there's too much to explore, like, we did not, I kind of underestimated how big Thailand is. It's massive, essentially. There's how many provinces, is it 77? Or am I wrong on that? Something around that. And they're all massive, there's so much things to see. So Fanta says, her mum and dad are from near Chang. Ah, well, where are they from? Beautiful place. They're lucky to be living there. Lisa, oh sorry. What is it, Lisa? Yeah, yeah Lisa. Lisa. Hi, thanks for joining, Lisa. Oh, we've got everyone's police having a party. Yeah, it seems they're always having a party here. <laughs> oh, there's loads of chats. Oh, Gasmo, happy New Year to you. Yeah. Happy I'm, New Year to you too. <laughs> I'm reading this message while speaking. Happy New Year to you too. Yeah. All the, best. The, chat on here. All the best. CC, okay, we can't read that. Ah, North so Wales, sorry. Charlotte. We love North Wales. Oh, it's not even far from us. We're from Blackburn, so it's like... Is it like... I can't remember, actually. Is it like an hour and 15, hour and hour? Yeah. We used to always go to North Wales. Beautiful place. What? Anglesey. I used to dive a lot in Anglesey as well. We love it. We love Wales. Where else are we from? Australia. Steve Johnson. Oh, oh yes, Australia. Whereabouts in Australia? Belgium. Oh, Lovely. right, Blackburn. <laughs> Austria, wow, it's good. Belgium, Europeans in the chat. Shout out to all the Europeans. I'm from Uranus. Who's put that? <laughs> Classic Oscar. <laughs> Is that actually from the police, those tubes? Yeah, so... it's in the restaurant. So that checkpoint I just showed you, so there's a... Is that like a checkpoint thing? And then there's just a huge, there's like a truck pulled up. All the doors are open, the boots open. There's about 20 speakers in that car just blasting tunes. Early on, it was so loud. There's karaoke going on and all kinds of stuff. That's my favorite thing, that the karaoke. <laughs> Today we've been driving and we've just been like, everyone's just been singing karaoke. <laughs> yep. 
every every time we go through, oh, there's been like so five different karaoke parties. Oh, Steve's from Sydney. Nice one, Steve. Happy New Year, cool. Uh, no, we have not been diving yet. We've only been to one island so far. We've not. We're coming back, and we're going to go to the south of Thailand to to more like coastal destinations. Buntung Dao, yo, yo. Yeah, it's impossible. Let's go read in the chat. Got some questions to go through and all. How many people? We got sixty people. Sixty people. Oh, shout out! Thank you. <laughs> I said to leave before I said. <laughs> the game plan. <laughs> I said if less than ten people join this live stream, I was going to pretend the internet is broken and just pack it. In. Oh, I say like I'm on the show. Sorry, I can't. I can't mess it up. <laughs> that wouldn't be great. So yeah, thanks to all of you for joining in. Can you dance for us, Osk? No, man. Can you dance for us? No, you have to pay if you want that. Yeah, send us five pounds and you might get a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a move. I'll read the chat on here so I'm not sticking head over there. CC said, who's CC? The channel has grown so much, they love all your videos. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been crazy. We've come to Thailand and it seems Thai people are loving the channel. So thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Extend visa. We we um you have to pay to extend it. So we will leave the country and then come back and then we can get another free visa for forty five days again. Sky train. Is it cold there? A little bit, yeah. For us now. Because we've been out of England for so long. If it's like sixteen degrees, we're like, oh it's a bit nippy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's freezing. In the morning it's absolutely freezing. So today we set off at 6 a.m. Yeah, on this little cool. motorbike we rented. I only have a t shirt and shorts, like an absolute idiot. And I couldn't even feel my arms. We had to drive an hour and it was so bad. So, yeah, it's cold. But not in the day. In the day, it's not. Nice. In the it's day. Just in the morning. And then that's it, yeah, in the day. So, like, <clears throat> you probably can't tell me, but I'm really sunburnt because in the day it's like 30 degrees, mm -hmm. isn't it? And the sun, I feel like the sun here in Eastern is like 10 times stronger than. Sun, yeah, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Northern Thailand. The police alcohol drinking driver checkup. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. But where we stayed yesterday, we're... you'll see it in an upcoming video. So yeah. We were driving through just like random towns in East and We went into a, a coffee and tea shop to get an iced tea and a coffee. And then next minute, we were sat down. We had a, a full bottle of what was it? Rice wine yeah. gifted to us. Lao Kao. It's called Lao Kao. Something like they were just pouring us shots and making us drink them. I, what did he put in mine? Salt, lime. Yeah. Making us slam shots. Then we had to carry on. It was absolutely. She gave me like a blue drink. It was like a blue wicked that she'd made with whiskey herself. And it was like <laughs> I, I literally didn't even finish the drink, and she was there filling it up. And then what did our hotel owner say? We were just... like, we have to go. We have to go. <laughs> we had to shoot because they were just going to keep pouring us drinks. <laughs> and then our hotel owner said, "Do not worry about anything." Um, the hotel owner used to be in the police. So he said, do you have any problems? You ring my mum. Yeah, don't worry. Do you like Thai food, James? Yes. Some of the best food in the world, I think. Yeah, I'll go into that more when we answer the questions. Chris Taylor. Yes, Chris. Thanks. Thanks for checking in. Chris Taylor. You're watching from the Peak District, aren't you? Have we got that one right? The good old visa room. Yeah, we can't be bothered doing a visa room. We may as well just... If we have to go to Lao, we may as well spend a little bit of time in Lao instead of just bouncing straight back. It seems pointless. Steve, you missed Steve. Oh, sorry. Do you watch Mickey Stock? You know, so. Yeah, I really like Mickey Stock's videos because I feel like there's nothing. I've not seen anything like Mickey Stock's videos. Like the way that he films things, I think is really, really nice to watch. Like especially what I love is when he films stuff, like when he's at a market and he'll be filming like vendors and whatever, he doesn't take he doesn't put like music over the top of his clips and like cringy and annoying stuff. He leaves he leaves the natural it's, audio it's in really as well. Really nice, yeah. I really like watching yeah. his videos. And he just seems like a good guy, doesn't he? And he, he likes Thai food, he's 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 open minded. Yeah. And he speaks Thai. Yeah. Uh, respect to him for speaking Thai. He speaks Thai really well. I mean I don't want to be up his ass, but Charlotte, how long are you travelling? Well, how long is it now? I think it's been about 15 months right now. Yeah. And yeah, if we can somehow not run out of money, I don't know, maybe we'll just keep travelling. Yeah. As long as we can do for. Belgium. Yes, Tim. Oh, Belgium. Phil. I'll send you a video of where me and Al are. Ah, where are you? Are you abroad, Phil? Somewhere exotic. 
How do you get your beard so? Stop Oscar, mate, it. are you winding me up? I think Oscar's someone that you know. You reckon? Oscar Hyde? Oh, I don't know, maybe. So I do. Near Accrington? No way. We were out. That's down the road Accrington. from us in Blackburn. Oh, God. Accrington, okay. Accrington is rough. I don't know, look, these people from Aki are funny, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are, but. Oh, CC, I can't read your message. I'm really sorry. Peak District. We love the Peak District. Such a beautiful part of the UK. Yeah, people people come to the UK and they only seem to go to London. Everyone we meet outside of the UK, they just say, oh, we've been to London. It's a massive shame because Yorkshire's absolutely beautiful. Where The Welsh coastline is absolutely beautiful. Inland is beautiful. The Lake District, there's so many amazing places. There's more than London. Nice. London's like London. my least favourite place. I hate UK. London, I'm not going to lie. Sorry to Gaz. I know you're not from London, but you're a southerner. Oh. <laughs> Too many, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm exist existed through my food. Ellis, I think UK don't have very spicy food. How do you start loving very spicy dish? Um, we actually have a Thai friend. Well, she, she owns a restaurant in Blackburn. And she cooks us really spicy food, essentially. It's but, called Rak Thai by Anne, and if you're in Blackburn, you should go because it's delicious. She cooks the best food. She cooks us really good food. Yeah. She cooks. She cooks. She's from Pitchett, which is is it like in between? It's like Northern Town, East Town in the middle, and she cooks amazing food. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, classic, classic guys. I'm in London. I wouldn't go to London. Where Where are you actually from, Gary? Ian Roberts, I was at Quakes, great channel. Quakes. Aki's Quakes lovely this time here. Quakes at school. Do you ever get an upset stomach today? That's a funny question. <laughs> Surprisingly, no. In Thailand, no. When we were in Mexico, I would <laughs> say day. I'd say we had a few <laughs> bad experiences. I got food poisoning really bad. Um, you so did as well, didn't yeah. you? But so far. Fingers crossed, touch we've been wood, okay. We've wood. been eating some weird stuff as well. Have you been to Scotland, Charlotte? Um, we've been to Edinburgh mm -hmm. together. That's it. And I've been to... I've just been diving in a few of the locks. Lock, lock Fine, Lock Long, which is... Is that on the northeast or the northwest? I don't know. But not properly. So let's put Oscar Piddle. Accrington is lovely at this time of year. I agree. If you can help yourself over to Accrington, <laughs> do you follow sports? Uh, not really, no. To say the truth, not now. Do we? I don't, I don't, uh, no. Not really, no, not. <laughs> Happy New Year, Lava. This, I need to get through these chats. Rakta, yes. Happy Rakta. New Year, Jeb. Mugrata. Ah, we actually had that last night, so stay tuned. We, um, so yesterday we went to a place called Bung Kong Long in the Bung Khan province and we stayed in this homestay and then when we got there the family who owned the homestay invited us for lunch with them. We had like a big like Yisan feast, we had sticky rice, um, Lab Mu, Lab Mu, Pad, Nam oh, Nam Tik Nam 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 we also invited us to have Mukata with the, the family for tea, for like New Year's tea. So yeah. It was really fun, wasn't it? Oh, it's so hard to keep up with these but chats. It was stressful. <laughs> she left yeah. us for You'll see when the video oh. comes out. <laughs> Tim Tents, plan for the upcoming months. Well, when our visa runs out, we have to go to Laos, and then probably Vietnam, and then back to Thailand, and then that's where the plan ends. Mm -hmm. Chris Taylor, you're exploring a vanishing world, well done. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, we try to keep it, um, we, we love this type of travel, you know, like the small towns, like the, the old school travel, that's what we like, we don't like the, the fancy, like, what would you call it, flashback or stuff, I don't know, we the just keep, we just keep it easy, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we just hide from the modern world, next destination, um, in Thailand, Ubon Ratatani, oh, the Roman cook is here, yes, so, if anyone hasn't, I mean, you've probably seen his channel because, you're watching my videos. The Roman cook, Gary Butler, makes some of the best Thai food videos. Not even just Thai, Vietnam, Laos, Southeast Asia food videos out there. Malaysia as well, I think. Really knowledgeable guy, not like me. <laughs> not this waffly. He knows his stuff. So if you haven't, go and check his channel out. 
He's a good man. Lock your door, no, I've not been there. Homesick. Um, I miss my dog. <laughs> I miss my family. What about you? Uh, sometimes, but generally only when I don't like where I am. <laughs> <laughs> maybe at the start, when we first came, yeah, maybe. But maybe, yeah, maybe if you don't like where you are, then yeah. But if, if you're somewhere, especially here, somewhere nice. like, you can literally just go out and speak to people and you never feel like some countries you go to and the people are so cold and you just feel like oh you don't feel lonely here do you no know? not at all here it's completely different so i don't feel homesick that's now. a hard question <coughs> right the chap in the fast show i don't know what that means, oh, that means. ian roberts where are you watching from ian are you a brit or an oz yolandi happy oh, new Ryan, year Ryan Liz are encouraging oscar Go on, Oscar. Tell, Oscar. tell us something else, silly. <laughs> How you feel when tour? We're happy. We're happy here. Yeah. People are so nice. We love it. We love Thailand so far, yeah. Anan, hello. How are you? Did I try and answer one of these questions we've been asked? Wait, you mum said look at scholars' questions. What's scholars' questions? Oh, scholars. Top five menu Thai spicy foods. Oh. We'll get on to that. Yeah. We'll get on to that. That's such a hard question. Do you try soy soy do? No. What is that? How am I being silly? What, how do you feel when your clip got... Um, Vita what? I completely never expected... It's, oh, there's a fly on the screen, a massive flying ant. I'll get off my screen. I never expected that, ever. So, I'd say we're really happy about it and we really appreciate it. We are grateful for everyone who watches and interacts. I think you felt as well like your hard work had paid off. Like it was worth doing. <laughs> yeah. Because be other, co other countries, people don't seem to like watch the videos. But then in Thailand, it seems people are really passionate about the country. So yeah, it's been great. Oscar, do you believe in life after love? Do you know my life? Congrats, Prakon. Thank you. What is your favourite Thai food? I'll get on to that. Raw beef dip in the bitter spicy sauce. Mm. I won't spoil it for you, but we had a raw dish the other day, and I think it'll be the next video. We've just been really busy, so we haven't not been able to edit a video because we've been out on the bike. It's been a bit hectic. Old things. What's that firecrackers? We'll do a bit of firework. It's a spicy sauce. Has it got bile in the dip? Oh, has it got bile in? We've been wanting to try that, but I've not found it. Or I don't know the name of it. Right. What is that? Someone doing like firecrackers outside, yeah. So, should we answer, try and answer a few of these questions then? Yeah. Over a million views. Yes, Steve, it's been crazy. We, I think I think it was like a couple of days ago, the videos hit a million views in total. So thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know. I'm very grateful. We're just doing what we always do. We're not putting anything on, just doing the same, but... It seems people appreciate it more here because because Thailand's a popular country. Should I try a question then? Yeah. Oh, file of the cow. Yeah, yeah I'd love to, I would love to try it, but where can we try it? I think it'll be intense. It scares intense, me. I'm not yeah. gonna lie, that scares <laughs> me eating bile. It's just the bad thing in Thailand, you think? Ah. Uh. That one needs a bit of thought. Um, the word bad things in Thailand. To tell you the truth, some countries to go to, like, we can easily pick some bad things straight away, but Thailand so far, it's been really good to us. We've, I think maybe it's the destinations we've been to, everyone has been extremely friendly and welcoming. We've not really had any, we've not had any many bad experiences, have we had any? No. I think it's a shame that, like, especially because we're from England, if you say to, like, an English person, oh, I'm going to Thailand, there's, like, a perception of Thailand that English people, I think Australians might do. <laughs> It's like a backpacker party place for young people. And I think people need to know that it's a lot more than that. Definitely. The plastic in Thailand, Charlotte. Oh, come to Loi. Stay tuned, we have just been to Loi. Uh, we are going south, down south, down south soon. So stay tuned for that as well. Lovely. 
Oh, bone chaps. Oh, so then taco is amazing too. Yeah, it is. That was it, the plastic, the plastic, yeah. So we go to a night market and we just end up accumulating like so much plastic. It's crazy, yeah. It's a bit of a shame, but it's up to the government, I guess. Any mosquitoes? Here there isn't, there's a few, but in, in Northern Thailand, in Lampang and Dak, there was so many mosquitoes, it was ridiculous. I think it's too cold here, because when the sun goes down, it, it's too cold for them. How hot is Thailand? In the day, very hot. In the morning, cold. Except Bangkok, Bangkok is like a sauna. <laughs> so, when we went so to Bangkok, hot. it was so, you like, you go out for 10 minutes, and we'd be wet, I'd like, my arms dripping, my face is dripping in. Swear. Too hot, too hot. So I'm trying to, I'll try and answer a question that you've asked now. Ooh, which one first? What made you decide, you and Alicia decide to travel and vlog it? Um, I don't think you really planned to do it. Yeah. To travel, we wanted to we travel wanted to forever, travel, yeah. like, forever we've wanted to travel. It's what we love, we've always gone on like holidays with our work leave, but it's yeah. never been enough, so we've wanted to um, do this, go for long term. Yeah. And I think we both got really miserable and, just got and bored bitter of the, and the horrible. Nine to five. So we were like, let's go now. Let's we we saved up, we worked hard, and then yeah, we, and we just come. But vlogging it, it didn't start like, I know some people set out from day one like, oh, I'm going to be a full time world class vlogger and make millions of quid. No, we just, we never even had, had like that in mind. It was just, we just filmed ourselves doing funny things and like just filmed our day and stuff we saw. And I never even used the footage, and then one day I thought, oh, I might just make a YouTube channel and just put, put the on. clips on there. And obviously nobody watched it whatsoever. You can tell though, because like before <laughs> we even left the UK to come travel, and there's clips of us from like Poland and stuff. We're doing absolutely just stupid about, yeah. stuff. But then I think it was in Nicaragua. I um, tried to speak to the camera for the first time. Epic fail, and then it was you. You were like, let's do it. I just thought, let's try and let's just try and make some videos. Obviously, never expected anyone to watch them. Never had any, what's the word? Intention. Intention of being a YouTuber, it just happened. I wouldn't even say I'm a YouTuber, I'd just say I'm just a normal person filming random stuff. Roy, Roy said, it started to look a bit grim in the Balkans and Thailand blew up <laughs> brilliantly, yeah. Yep. But I think we're both, I think we're miserable. It got a bit miserable because <laughs> it got cold and it rained. And it, and it was miserable. a bit, it was a bit, Cold, not in the weather wise either. Like, oh, as the winter came, people got cold. Everyone, it was a bit, it wasn't great. Was we it? needed a change, I think. Plan to have a long stay. So, we've been here, well, 45 days, and then we will come back hopefully for another 45. Charlotte, saturated with child vloggers. Yeah, it seems, I don't know, it seems everyone just makes the exact same video. It's a bit annoying, really. Like, like what's it called? Like oh, eighteen hour train, Bangkok to Chiang Mai, or like oh, what's the other one? I am so shocked. Can't believe I ate this. I can't believe Bangkok is like this in twenty twenty two, and it's just a lot of bollocks, isn't it? And like picture of someone's face like this and saying eating the world's stinkiest fruit. Yeah, durian's <laughs> nice. I hate that. Like or like stuff like that. Yeah, just. It's just a bit irritating. Well, like, there's lots of weird videos on YouTube of like old men walking around and like filming people. Filming like women street food yeah, vendors. Yeah, it's, it's a bit strange. Weird. Yeah, we just we like to show these places we're showing, and just the, the kind of the other side of Thailand. Steve Johnson put middle age Aussie like Pattaya for various reasons. Yep, I think we know what everyone, we know what you mean. Everyone knows what you mean. Further than any any mullet has gone before. I tell you what, Chris, you should have seen the mullet back in the day. It's actually short now. <laughs> It was like halfway down my back. It was a proper mullet. 7-Eleven. Lisa, we actually, we try and avoid 7-Eleven, to be honest, because we would rather just shop in like, just like, um, like little local little time shops. shops. Yeah. Well, where we can, we try and avoid it. We actually, we, went, we tried to go to 7-Eleven because just earlier in the day, just to buy some beers. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to go. And then they wouldn't say it was beers anywhere. So we went around the corner to a little old grandma. Yeah, it can was we cheaper find better. Leo? Yes, of course. Compare the crisps. Well, here they have crazy flavours of walkers, so. Should but ours are some classics. We've got some actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. The flavours are better here. They're not just like salt and vinegar, cheese in the end. Let me go and get them. It, like there's Mian Kam, which we had the other day, which we loved. We've, we've got salted egg here, which sounds a bit crap, but. 
No, Charlotte, we don't have Instagram, just the YouTube. Favourite tie dish? I'm going to get on to that. I'm going to try to answer these questions. Anything else? I don't want to miss any of you out. Right. What else have we got? What did you do prior to travelling? I was a machinist, so like a mechanical engineer for a scuba diving company called Apex. I don't know if anyone knows. So I made, like, I machined the parts for the breathing equipment to go scuba diving. And I will say the truth, most of the time I spent sat in the toilet looking at the map where I wanted to travel to. <laughs> <laughs> so any future employee, and um, that would be great if you could reach out to Ellis. <laughs> I was a nurse associate and I worked in the hospital. Any dangerous situation? See, that's a hard one because I don't know. I felt like we've been really lucky. Or we're just very street smart. I don't know, we've not really had any trouble with anyone ever, have we? No, I dangerous. just, I was always a bit worried when we went to Honduras just because like you read crazy stuff and everyone tells you like oh it's so dangerous I was always really paranoid about like getting on the bus and someone jumping on the bus with a gun and being like give me a bag yeah it didn't happen though, did it? It, yeah it didn't happen <laughs> but real shot um we are from Blackburn northwest England where are you watching from Jump's Chinese crisps go on then we've got salted egg Lays. They don't sound too early. Salted cool, egg. But... Ellis went to the shop and I said, oh, yeah, just get some crisps. Make sure you don't get salted egg. It was all we had. I don't fancy that. It was either this or that, or just plain Ellis potato. Or plain oh, potato. I've got these. What are your plans for the future? Oh. Um, that's a hard one because I don't really know. Because We don't really know what we're doing with our lives, to be honest. Yeah. We'd like to keep travelling, but obviously to do that, you need money. And so we don't know. When our savings run out, we'll have to stop. What do you like? Mm. Live reaction. It just tastes like a... It tastes like a boiled egg. Yeah. <laughs> like a salted boiled egg. I mean, it is salted egg flavour. Not bad though. Where are you from? Where are you guys now? In... Oh, I've forgotten the name of the town. We're in what can I do? Ta Ta Uten. Me and Nakon Panom. We don't know the name of the town because we literally just looked on the map. Oh, guys, so, absolute no legend, idea. Gary. Thank you so much. <laughs> really appreciate that. Singer. We'll have to try the singer then for you. We'll have to get off the Leos on the singer. Oh, what, what things made you shocked your first day in Bangkok? I will, I will tell you this. Right. We got off the Sky Train, whatever it is. And we were both absolutely dead because the flight was like, what, 13 hours? Yeah, something like that. Nice Crazy nice. travel day. And we were just walking to the room. Like, we had no idea where we were. And we just come from a country where no one smiled at each other in the street. No one even looked at you in the street. And if they did, they gave you a horrible look. And everyone was like, smiling at us. And sweaty car, sweaty car. Everyone spoke to us. Oh, oh my goodness. At least I said, what? I feel so happy. Everyone's speaking to me. Everyone's smiling. How could I? Because I can't believe it. Bangkok, obviously, a huge, mega city. So I thought, oh, people are not going to be very nice. And it was the opposite. I mean, we didn't stay in central Bangkok, so I can't speak for that. But the Tombari side, we were near the Bang, Bang Pai metro station. I couldn't believe how nice people were. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't it believe how so cheap stuff shocked. were, how nice people were. I'm so shocked. <laughs> yeah, we didn't actually make a video. We should have, shouldn't we? We should have said, um, We are so shocked. Two, shocked. Is this actually Bangkok 2022? Yes, Gary Butler is here. Legend. The street food king. Get another question on, go. Ah. Favourite city, country, travelled so far? That is a very, very hard question. Here we go first. I can't tell you like a favourite country. That's too difficult to do. Maybe like my favourite top three. Few, yeah, few. I really, really love Nicaragua because of the it was just the best country. It was like the Wild West. But everyone was like a unit in Nicaragua. Like no matter what you did, no matter where you went, you'd know that someone would either come up to you and be like, Are you okay? Where do you wanna go? Or even like you're on the bus, <clears throat> and in the Nicaragua the buses are absolutely packed. Like you cannot move on the bus. 
you literally like shoulder to shoulder. You sat on people's knees. Literally. And you could get on a bus and it'd be full. And if there's three people on a seat, they'll move up, they'll move up to the window and they'll tell you to sit down on the seat. And like anything, like you're trying to get off the bus, they push you, everyone pushes you together to the front of the bus. To the people, it was just great. I love Nicaragua. I'm just, I'm just gonna say this. <laughs> How do you say? Vera out. I can't read your name. Vera out. I'm shocked on the cover. Yeah. How it, is it irritating to you? Because I just see it and I think, seriously, what is the point in 20 people making the exact same video with the same thumbnail like that? Oh, it's just so boring. Like Gas said the other day, you're not shocked, are you? Because <laughs> you've watched 20 videos before you went and you've made the same video. You've been to the exact same tourist attractions you've eaten in the same restaurants yeah but the, the thing that gets me is that they go to the same places and they think they're so cool whatever <laughs> whatever well you didn't say your favorite place oh so. favorite city country that's one of them of course country, it's my favorite country. One of them. so my favorite countries like mixed together mexico for me is one definitely in the top three mexico thailand and Colombia. Colombia or maybe Colombia, yeah. Because in, in Latin America, it's very similar to Thailand. The people are amazing. Like they're they're very similar. They they will all everyone speaks to each other. Everyone's really friendly. And you get invited places. Yeah, people like... just invite you whatever they're doing. It's really nice. Um, food culture is massive as well. So anywhere where there is food culture and just like a friendly, like hospitality culture, we enjoy. Have you been to India, Charlotte? No. Stay tuned. We will definitely visit India. Right on tour. <laughs> 2023. Our parents are hopefully flying out to India and we will do a bit of travelling over there. Keep the style of videos same. Yeah, we'll never change. We'll just do whatever we're doing. We won't change. Cricket sound. Oh, well, Charlotte's you know going crickets? to India in March. Ah, oh, where, where are you, are you going? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I read that wrong. Enjoy. How long are you going to go for, too? What else have we got? Cricket sound. Can you hear the crickets? Oh, we can hear it now. You can actually just hear the crickets and that like Isan music. Where are you from? We are from England, United Kingdom, a little town called Blackburn. I'm not going mm. in the Ganges water. I oh yeah, know. when we go, we're gonna go to India and my dad's gonna do a, um, a dive head first into the Ganges. Yeah. You Enjoy. heard it here first and if he doesn't do it, then he's it's let really everyone know. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely going. We'll film it. We'll make a video. Should we answer? Should, should Roy start a channel? <laughs> ah. Today I cooked, cooked prawn donuts for the kids like you ate in Chantaburi. Chantaburi prawn donuts? We eat that much. So in, we got in, it for in a trap, like Chantaburi. Like that, that, that prawn thing. I think, you know, the, it was like a donut. Ah, how were they? Were they good? Ten nice. We know the joys of annual leave. Yeah. We used to like go somewhere for like a weekend. Literally, we'd fly somewhere ridiculous for like two days. We'd like finish work and literally be like. Let's go to the airport. Wait. <laughs> Answer scholar's questions. Have I missed him? Scholar. Tim Tents, that's great. Is Ganges water? <laughs> Did you go for a dive in the Ganges, Tim? You'll have to go back. You definitely won't get ill. Go to Buriram. Maybe we'll visit. The Bold went to Black. No, Bold went to Blackpool, which is only like half an hour down the road. Which is worse than Blackburn. You reckon? Yeah. It's like the 100%. quintessential English holiday resort, Blackpool. <laughs> what have we got here? How do you eat spicy food? Um. Ellis just been training on the Nando's extra hot for years. Mexico. <laughs> we went to Mexico and just train our taste buds there because. Everything you eat, there is an op there is just an array of spicy salsas on the table. So I would just load it up habaneros. I would eat habaneros. I would just eat raw arbol chilies. And yeah, that's how. It's delicious, isn't it? Sam Pen, how many countries you went? I don't know. I think it's like twenty-seven. Is it? Yeah. Not that many, to be honest. Like some people visit like a hundred. But we're not most people who are like oh. We're not too bothered, really. No. 
countries by this year. No, I'd rather have a good time in 10 countries than just fly through 50 yeah. different countries and say I've been. I'd rather actually have a good time though. Tim, I went boating on the Ganges. <laughs> <laughs> Touched it and already felt it. You felt the illness. Rajasthan, oh nice. Where are you going in Rajasthan? And the car, what is your Premier League? Premier, oh, our hometown is not a Premier League town. We won the Premier League, Blackburn Rovers. Back in the day, but no. It's the championship team. It was a League One team, now it's the championship team. How do you finance your global adventures? Well, we just save it up. We're just living off savings, yeah. yeah. That's it. We don't we don't have a job. We get paid a little bit off YouTube, but that's it. We've just saved up for years, work for years, and we don't spend too much because we we stay in the cheapest <laughs> hotel wherever we are. We don't treat ourselves tonight, though. Well, this is only six hundred baht. Yeah, well, it's not that's like treating a, ourselves. That's treating ourselves. <laughs> this is luxury. Six hundred baht. We usually pay like what, 250, 300, 400 baht. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> How do we fund them? We saved up. Yeah, we're just living off savings, but yeah, we don't spend much. We only eat street food, we only eat local food. You know, we always take the slowest transport. No flavour of lady like the most. Mian Kam, without a doubt. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry, I can't read your name. How long you stay? We are here for 45 days, but we will be back. Try Isan spicy raw beef salad. Ah, that sounds really interesting. Maybe uh, maybe we tried it. Maybe. Maybe Raktai Bayan makes it delicious. <laughs> raw beef salad. <clears throat> Ryan, <laughs> Raktai do the spy, spicy beef raw salad. Yeah, they do. She does the best one. Someone said, what do you do oh, for living? Answer. There's loads of flying ants here. Someone said, what do you do for living? We don't do anything right now. Nothing right now. Like I said, just living off, off um, savings from when we used to work. What else have we got? Show us your, someone said, show us your backstage work. How do you choose a place? How do you plan your trip? They are quite unique. Um, I don't know. We, um, we essentially just look at where like, uh, we read travel blogs and stuff and if the, if a place has like 20 different blogs on saying it's the greatest place in Thailand and it's a hidden gem we probably don't go we go to places that have no information on I like, like to... use YouTube as well it's a bit of a resource like if there's a hundred videos in the place of like I don't know 20 year olds going making videos <laughs> no no we just like to explore ourselves go somewhere where no one's been and see if it's any good sometimes it's really good Sometimes it's a bit boring, but when you get the good places, then it's worth it. Well, just look on Google Maps. Literally, just search Google Maps. That's what we do. We sit there like looking at stuff. Zoom in. And they also said, "How do you get to place bus, train, or grab?" We always take the very worst way of travel. So <laughs> the cheapest bus, the cheapest train. We we never ever 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 fly. We make it hard for ourselves. Grab. We don't use grab. We don't use grab at all. There's no point using grab because. So much more expensive to yeah. use Grab as well. In Bangkok, like if you just jump in and meet a taxi, it's like half the price of Grab, Ooh, so what's the point in using Grab? We don't even have a SIM card to use Grab. We don't use SIM cards either. Soklek, we, we want to try Soklek. When we head back to, I think there's a place in Karat I want to try Soklek at. How long have we been together? Is it seven or eight years now? Seven. Seven, I think, is it, is it eight now? Sure. I think it's just no. gone eight. No, just gone seven. Just gone seven. Yeah. How much do you spend per month for out? Each we actually only spend around four hundred pounds. What's that like? Five hundred and a bit dollars. Max. Yeah, which is not much at all, is it? <coughs> we could spend more, but we just keep it simple. Then we have. Then we can just travel for longer, yeah. And we don't like eat instant noodles and stuff. No. We um, we eat good. <laughs> we eat street food. But yeah, we don't waste our money on pointless things. You don't need to. Like, you don't need to, no. It's so affordable to travel here. If you're willing to try and eat everything and not be bothered about what you're eating and be open-minded, you can really, really be on a budget. But if you're going to go to like... Western restaurants. Western, Western restaurants, restaurants are so expensive. Vegan restaurants. Vegan restaurants. Oh, it's really expensive. 
Oh, Lisa, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. So kind. Foreigners don't eat spicy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they should try it. I don't. All foreigners seem to just order everything without spice. Why don't they try it first and see? Cowpad, cowpad. And I see, think. yeah. Are you a good cook, Tim? I'm all right. You are a good cook. I can. I've got. I actually used to cook a little bit of Thai food back home. At least has specialty like dishes. dishes. I just used to cook dishes. like just like cow soy and yellow curries and like basic stuff. How old are you? I'm 25. I'm 24. Going near is without the blood. Tastes similar to that lava rock. Yeah, we have to try. We'll eat anything at all. There's nothing I don't think that we won't eat. Mm. How did you learn Thai? Hello! Hello! Happy, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> See, I love that. Literally everyone that we've seen today has been like, Hello! Happy New Year! Oh, Gaz is going. Nice energy. Thanks so much for tuning in, Gary. Yeah, if you haven't, check out his channel. If you also love Thai food, food in Southeast Asia, you won't be disappointed. And thank you for the fiver. Yeah, thank you, you so much. Really appreciate that. Things. Don't eat raw pork. <laughs> Not had raw pork yet. Who said don't eat raw pork? Roy, why have you come to Thailand? Why did we come to Thailand? Why did we go anywhere? Well, actually, <laughs> I will answer why we came to Thailand. If you'd have asked us when we first started traveling, do you want to go to Thailand? I would have said no. We probably would have said no because we had this impression in our heads of like 18 year old backpackers and partying, partying and, and all this kind of stuff. stuff. And we were both like, no, we don't want to do it. It's been done to death. But then actually, when we started looking at Thailand, and I think food is a massive like motivator of it. It's so good. And speaking to Anne. Um, we just thought we'd try and explore some. Yeah. See, see what the, like, the other side of town is like that, that you don't really hear about. Yeah. So Thailand, Mexico, Turkey. Never been to Turkey, but Mexico and Thailand, they're very they're similar cheap, in yeah. price wise, but I think Thailand might just edge it, might be a little bit cheaper. I think because Mexico, the accommodation is more expensive in Mexico. Yeah, definitely. But the street food's similar. What do you go back to nursing, Lynch? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't go back maybe to the where the nursing that I did. It's very stressful, but maybe a different type. <laughs> it wasn't as crazy. Also, how do you rent a motorbike on the questions? We've only rented a couple of times, and here in Nakon Panon, we rented by, we just looked at a motorbike dealer on the map, and it was like a family business. And yeah, they just had a few bikes to rent. It was 300 baht a day, which is all right. And in, in Got Good, we rented a bike as well. What was that? 250 baht? Yeah, but it was just the guy. The guy who we were staying just with rented just his own bikes. bike. Yeah, it seems people just like rented the mate's bike here or something. But when we went to, we went to San Claburi oh, and we so stayed good. in the best hotel ever. They were so kind. And he had this brand new bike and he was like, yep, you can take it, here's the key. Off you go. You didn't have to pay it. It was included no, it was... in like the, the room price. Amazing. Oh, where's that one gone? Have you had any scurry experiences? We answered that one, didn't we? Yeah, not really, not no. Really, no. Oh, Tim Tents, I forgot. Tim Tents asked the question. Very good one. Tell us about your younger years, Alice. Your hometown mm -hmm. age or any stories you might have. Um, my hometown is Blackburn in northwest England. I'm 25. Younger years. I don't know what to say for that. I'm just pretty normal young life. I um, used to ride BMX a lot. I um, scuba dive a lot. And that, yeah, when I was younger, I just used to ride my bike and listen to metal. That's pretty much all I did. Spill the beans on your worst travel experiences. Oh. We've not had that many bad experiences, luckily, but I'll tell you what. Now this is a good one. What's that, Chris Taylor? Chris Taylor, eight ninety nine. Oh, All the Chris very Taylor, best. Treat you yourselves. Thank you so much. Absolute legend. Thank you so much. We, we really appreciate ourselves. that. <laughs> that is so kind. My worst travelling experience for me. We were on a bus um, in Serbia, in Kosovo, and there was a man walking down like the middle aisle of the bus, and he had a child on his neck. And then all I heard was a massive like wretch, like a Bleh. And then I didn't even look and the next minute I looked down at myself and I'm covered in baby sick on a full bus 
it's like an eight hour bus as well. And we've, we've just started the journey and I was just coming in sick and everyone has looked at me. I had no idea what to do. We obviously don't speak Serbian, so nobody knew what to say to us. It was terrible. It was really bad. I don't know what did I do. A lady gave me some napkins, I wiped myself down, and then I, um... The guy gave you a top. Oh yeah, the bus driver somehow like went to the lost property box yeah. and gave me a tiny rock or a top that I like. I just stuck a sick for the rest of the day. And that's the worst travel experience I had. Everything goes quite well. Oh, Fanta, thank you so much. Seven hundred twenty-nine. I don't even know how much that is. That's loads of money. Couple of my cap. Thank you so much. That is lovely. We really appreciate it. Turkey is amazing. Reservations going from UK. It will be like Blackpool in the sun. No, I, I can understand that. I bet if you go to the tourist destinations, it's just full of Brits. But then I bet if you go to like the other side of Turkey, I bet it's really nice. Really, I hear the people are really hospitable. Nice to meet you both. Thank you, Cyril. Thank you for watching. Pechabon is a good. A few people have recommended places in Pechabon. So maybe we'll have to visit. There's too many places to visit in Thailand. Thai food in Thailand or in the UK? Well, that's a no-brainer because there's a flying ant on the screen. Oh, Again, a on the massive door. flying ant. There's a giant one on the door. <laughs> Get off the screen. It looks like a giant one. It's massive. Well, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? Because here they have the fresh ingredients. Like they have the... Well, we import them as well from Thailand, but here obviously they're from Thailand. So you can get the best stuff. But we do have some very good Thai food in the UK. We're quite lucky actually. There's a lot of Thai restaurants in Bolton, Leeds, Blackburn. We've got one down the road from us, really good. We actually never ate Thai food until we went to a restaurant in Leeds. And then we ate. Our I first ate, favourite dish was a cow soy. Yeah, we ate a cow soy and we were like, oh, this is delicious. And then we started oh. eating Thai food. Oh, got another at least 20 back. Thank, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Sick on the bus. Sick on the bus. I'm not bad. Roy, it was horrible. I, I was covered in sick. All my arm, all my leg, and everyone was just looking at me. I think my worst was when we went to, maybe like five years ago, we went to Vietnam, and we were gonna do like the Hazang loop. We were ready, we were gonna smash it. We rented this massive Yamaha, and you'd never driven a geared bike ever in your life before. And you I rented decided the it was the time to bike. learn to drive the most dangerous. Motorbike loop in Vietnam. And the biggest bike. The biggest you could bike, get. the most powerful manual bike. It was a terrible idea. We crashed like four times. I came off it. I came off it so many times, and I just remember thinking, I'm done with this. I hate it. So we packed it in. <laughs> rent a motorbike. Yeah, that would be great. That actually would be great. Every time we rent a bike, we have such a good time because you can really go to these small towns and. You just stop whenever you want. You just stop. Yeah, you're really good. You're right. Stop wherever you want. And. When you're on a bike, you can like speak to people mm -hmm. whilst you're on the bike. You Miles can be like, oh, it's so much more. Oh, we shy. Thank you so much again. Thank you very much. Anyone who donates, we really, really, really appreciate it. You're so kind. What's Thank you so question much. A question. I need to wait. Yeah. Where are my questions? Do you want to get more tattoos in Thailand? I only have a few tattoos and to say the truth, they're very expensive. So I'd, right now I'd rather spend my money on traveling than the tattoos. I feel like we were really bothered when we were younger. We were like, yeah, I want to get tattoos. And now we're a bit like, I still eh, love whatever. tattoos though, but it's just the money because they're so expensive. So I'd rather you have to spend... prioritize what you spend your money on. Definitely. The difference between Thailand and other countries. Well, in Thailand, everybody's really warm. Everybody speaks to each other, everybody smiles. A smile goes a long way. People, and the food culture, everybody shares food together. That's really special. Whereas in some place in Europe, like, it's every man for themselves. People aren't, people don't help each other at all. People are quite ignorant, people are cold. Not everywhere, but. I feel like where we've been in Thailand. Oh, you can hear the cricket. It it's not being about like money like <clears throat> we've been to countries and everything you do is a transaction and that's it's just really a bit annoying. like you can't have like genuine relationships with people because everything is just like everyone is like a, people do something price. nice to you and the next minute they're asking for money which is so annoying in thailand i'll tell you what in thailand in nearly 45 days not a single person has ripped us off scammed us or overcharged us maybe it's because of where we've been in thailand or what but it's and like the change, like 
No one's short Certain countries we've been to, like, you get short changed all the time. Or, like, you just change the scales, whatever. Here, no. No one's done nope. that. So that ties into that one. If, do you love Thailand? If so, why? That is why, because because of the people. The, the people make the country, the people, the food. I mean, and that's before these, you count in like the landscapes, the nature. The nature is incredible, the wildlife is incredible. What was the question? Question. Do you, why do you like Thailand? Why do you, do you why love you, it? If so, do you why? Love it, do you love it? Yeah, I think it's because you, you, it's impossible to feel like you're on your own. From my experience, you can't get lonely. Like, you can't get lonely. Like, you, could get lonely you go yeah. to the corner shop and you've got like a grandma a chat. and auntie like smiling at you and trying to chat to you. Even if they're trying to chat to you in Thai. Yeah, even like, if you don't speak any Thai whatsoever, they'll be chatting to you. Yeah. In Thai, you'll be chatting back in English and you'll just have a, a good time. Got a few lot like, of the, the chats going a bit. Let's have a look. Someone said, last time you guys had a fight, it's hard for me with a half. I've done it before as much as them. Oh, yeah, we all do. All the time. <laughs> but you just get on with it. There's, there's nothing else you can do. <laughs> oh, Charlotte. New Year's resolutions. I'm in a long-term relationship. 13 years. Mine is to travel at least one country by myself. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, oh, I've not done a New Year's resolution for ages. Uh, mine is to challenge myself more and not be so... not be a, a worrying robot. <laughs> well, I would say. You don't really do them. I don't really do them, sorry. <laughs> I've never really done them because it's like, everyone always does the bloody I'm not going to eat a packet of crisps for a month or something stupid. I'm not going to have chocolate for a month. We've got 92 people now. This is the most we've had, I think. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Oh, we've done an hour. It's flown by. I'm going to have to go for a wee in a second. <laughs> I thought, 95. I thought, to be fair, I thought that we'd get like 5, 10 people. So thank you, everyone who's watching. Yeah, we can hear crickets. It's such a nice sound, isn't it? So nice. Yeah, Charlotte, challenge yourself. So where are you going to go on your own? A crazy country like India or somewhere like in Europe. How long are you stay in Thailand? 45 days is the max we can stay without having to pay for an official visa. So 45 days and then we'll come back. Do you like mosquitoes? No one likes mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. I really hate mosquitoes. It's one of them. They're like a Wait, it's you're so annoying. I'm in bed and relax. I'm, you know, just about to fall asleep. Quilt flies off. The lights on. There's a mosquito in here, <laughs> and I'll make it my mission. I will. I will not sleep until I've killed that mosquito that just buzzed in me. I will find it. I think you should be a mosquito it. terminator. Exterminator, not terminator. On this trip, I've been exterminating every day. I've been, I've been yeah, mosquito no. killer. I've been oh, worms in the bathroom killer. Fly maybe, that's what, maybe that's what you should maybe, do yeah, maybe, your life. For my job. Maybe that's what my future plans. Indigo, <laughs> thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks so much for you to donate. I'm planning Oslo. Oslo. It's Oslo, Norway. Ooh. Interesting. It's going to be cold. We've never been. We've never been to any Scandi countries. I think it'll be good though. I think the people will be really nice. I think they'll be nice. It's nice in winter when it's cold. Yeah. Where do you plan on going next after Thailand? We're going to go through Lao. Across the river. Crossing the river, yeah. We'll swim across. Can you hear them, can you hear them tunes now? Chuck's been uh, turned up. I, I love Isan music. It is my favourite. Like, when you hear that beat, it's like, yeah. It's really good. It's really good beat. It's so good. But that's not toilet. Ooh. Yeah. Oh! What's that? Someone's give 79.99 Australian dollars. Or Gasmo. What's is that Australian Go dollars? Go treat yourself to some more delicious food. That's oh. not Australian dollars. Is it? What's no, A? It's not. What is A dollars? He's from it? Australia. No way. Seriously? How much is 79 trillion dollars in? I have no idea. Is that like pounds. what is that? Is that like 40 quid? That's crazy. No. Thank you so much. <laughs> Really? Well, Gazmo, oh, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Wow. We will definitely spend it on something good. We won't piss it up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll just we'll just go on a mad street food mission. Yeah. We'll go to like a night market. Maybe get some seafood. Seafood is more expensive. Yeah, thank you it? so much. I can't I can't believe people are donating. 
going to tell you what. What's that about? You, you, you should buy it around 100 baht Terminator. Oh, like one of those rackets you can like yeah. smack them with. The problem is though is that we literally just have a backpack. A tiny bag, yeah, so we can't. We look like the clampets walking around with like a bat hanging off it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You're welcome, guys. You deserve it. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It'll definitely go towards something good. Liz, scholars. Wait, do I need to scroll back? Where is scholars? What's the... Liz, can you remember the question that he asked? Because I, I have to scroll back in this chat and it's too... I think it's too far gone. Commando Ninja. I'm from Thailand, but I live in South Wales now. I really miss Thai food. Oh, South Wales is also beautiful. We miss Thai food. Can you not get any Thai food in South Wales? Is there no Thai restaurants? What can you cook? I would miss the food too. I think if I moved, if I was from Thailand and I moved away, that would be too hard. Charlotte, are you recently engaged? We actually, I'll, I feel like I should tell this while else is here, so I'm not talking to my invisible person, but yeah, we got engaged in Mexico, yeah. Steve Johnson, top five foods. Oh, it's so hard. So hard. Wait until he gets back from his uh, toilet break, and we'll talk about our food choices. What city you came from? We are from a town called Blackburn. There are some, but not near where I live. Ah, oh, so it's a long way away. Pakong, so cool. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> When's the wedding? We don't know yet. <laughs> we, we don't know. When's the wedding, Ellis? Wedding. Tim said, when's the wedding? We don't yeah. And then... Steve Johnson has asked us, what is our top five foods? So, can I ask this question? I forgot to answer anyway. Thai foods or like... Worldwide Worldwide. Because it, for us, that's like... For me, that's the hardest question yeah. on the planet. Favourite food. Oh, someone said, why not in Thailand? Get married. Maybe, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> See, Brad, we come from Blackburn. Steve, so five foods. I'll, I'll mix it up with different cuisines. So in Mexico, one of my top favorite foods is just mole. M mole, pub mole poblano oh, yeah. is one of my favorites, which is a crazy food. It's just all kinds of stuff. It's the other like chocolate, chili, there's hundreds of ingredients. It's really good. Oh, Steve said, I think that was Scholar's question. Which one? Top five menu spicy Thai food. Spicy Thai food, top five. Yeah, this is Scholar's question. Well, lab is one of my favourite foods. A, mm. a, a really spicy lab. I like nam tok. Nam tok nam with like the, the, the yeah. thick meat. Delicious. Um, nam tok mousse. Somtam is an absolute classic, a nice spicy somtam. You can never go wrong. One of my favourites is what we had in the night market. We had this quite a lot. So the spicy, like Thai Lao style salad. Oh, Charlotte's going. Thank you so much for tuning in, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Have Thank a good you. time in India. Yeah, have a great time. Thank you so much. So, it, I think it is Khao Yam Ning, which is... Is it? So it's like fried rice balls mashed up with chilies, lime... Pig skin. Pig skin. Coriander. Toasted rice and all kinds of stuff, it's really spicy. And sour pork, sour pork, I love sour pork and it's really good. Thai food is a mix of Chinese, Indian and Lao food. Paul, Thai food is ranked number 30. Well, who wrote that poll? Because they have no idea what they're on about. Let me guess, England was like number one. What was number one? Yeah. Yeah, what was number one? Chocolate sauce, yeah, mole. There's chocolate in it, so it's like chocolate, spice. It's so crazy, but, and sweet as well. It's like really interesting, but Mexican food is also great. I'd say Mexico and Thailand are like top Fun two tour. like food countries for me. Because they're both really diverse. I I like me I love Mexican food, but Thai food just tops it because of the variety I guess, and the yeah. freshness and like the diversity of everything. 
you can get an electric mosquito terminator for 99 bucks because it's tiny. I don't need one because I have. I <laughs> mosquito have one. killer. <laughs> we have Nova Star Lord. Yes, we have Nova Star Lord. Just, I think it might be the next video. Oh, you'll Chris see. is going to walk the dog. Oh, Chris, mate. Have a good dog Thank walk. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> Happy New Year. Thank Happy you New so Year. much. Yeah, we had Northern Lord and we also had something else. You'll see. We've got some food here, I'll tell you what, we've, we're hungry, we've got some snacks. So right, right here we have got something we actually had on the channel quite a few times. Italian food is number one. To be fair, Italian food is nice, but um, it's not as good as some of the other cuisines. It is delicious, but the ingredients are very simple. I guess that is tasty though, but... It is, but when you go to like, I but, thought I absolutely loved Georgian food, and then I, I realised actually... Like the variety isn't there, is it? Like no. here, there's so many different foods. Here we've got Kalmal Todd, Isam Words, we actually did, someone told us, was oh, it someone told Sal, us the Sal, for 20. For 20. No, that's Thai. Yeah, no, it's Thai, but the Isam version of 20. Yeah, what did it say, Sal, Sal, yeah, something like that, I can't remember. England was 29, England was above Thailand, that's an absolute scandal. So these are Kalmal Todd, these are the, the bananas in the, is it like coconut and rice flour? I can't remember, everyone explained, but they're so good. Mm. Mm. We do love it. Ever since we had it, it's been one of our favourite foods. Favourite sweet snacks. Look at that. These are 10 by each. And mm. massive. So sweet. Really good. Cyrus Twenty in Thai. Ah. Twenty four. Thai accent is accurate. Well, how about four? I don't know. I just listen to people say it and try and like copy them. Oh. I always pick languages that like so fast. So skilled, but he hears it once and it's like in the memory rank. The basics. So you're a very skilled language learner. Lao is Lao. The lady yesterday, she told us Lao and Isan language are very similar. Far, <laughs> far. Duller than Pra. Four dialects. Mm. Hmm. Steve. These are hard words. Are you saying pronounced banana? Because you know we're going to say a naughty word. <laughs> Number nine. Is it gao, gao, rice, cow, banana, gloi, gloi, gloi. What does that mean? Gloi, gloi. Nine rice, banana. That must mean something very. Oh, well, banana, like we learned the other day, it means a naughty thing. Taf do you think Thai food tastes sweet? The drinks are sweet, but I do like the sweet, so I, I don't really mind. Very sweet. But the food's not been too sweet. Yesterday, Ellis got a, a drink, a, a, thai, a tea with lemon, and she put five soup spoons of sugar. Yep, five. Five. Full spoons. I had one sip. I went, wow. Five. I was like, oh wow, this is a filling waiting to happen. Five spoons. I couldn't believe it, to be honest. It's crazy. <laughs> and crickets are going mental, aren't they, on the balcony? What provinces else will you visit? Where are we going next? Next, we are going to Ubon Ratatani. And then that's it until we come back to Thailand. But we're like a week behind in videos. So like the videos are from where we were like a week ago. Just because we've been really busy, I've not had time to edit them. I would like to make, release a video every day, but it's just a lot of work while whilst we're traveling. But I'll try my best. We'll see how it goes. Can you hear that East Sand music now? 
That'll be going all night. I can guarantee we'll be able to feel the bass in bed tonight. Ties are crazy about sugar. Yep, yeah, it seems that way. Yep. It, the sweetness is nice though, but in something like a noodle soup, I guess. I don't really like my noodle soups too sweet. Maybe maybe it depends what soup. Maybe it's like a porky one, a little bit sweeter then. I'd rather, I'd rather the spice overpower the sweet. If it's too sweet and it's a bit... It's just not good for you, is it? Drink your sweet drinks. Eating sweet noodle soups. I'll get diabetes. What else have we got here? Oh, we actually also got some Segrog Isan. We've got some sour sausage. Forgot about that. Some sour sausage. You picked these up before and I just forgot to eat them. Chili, you don't want them. What are these chillos? Oh. It's one sour. Deal. 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 So yeah. Let's try these already. So quite a bit snackish, you know, a bit peckish. Mmm. And we got the chili. Mmm. I really like the sour sausages. Mm. Obviously in England we eat a lot of sausage. Flat for them, but we don't have anything like this whatsoever. Really good. Sour fermented pork. Another the reason why Thai food's so good. What do we call this in the households? <laughs> the devil! <laughs> Cucumber is the only food in the world that I don't really like. Yeah. I can eat it, but I do not really like it. It doesn't taste too great, so I, I try and avoid it. Painted turtle, sorry. I missed your comment. If you already said, where are we traveling? Yes. We'll be leaving soon because our 45 day visa free stay ends and we are going to Laos. Oh shit. What's happened? Massive ant in there. Oh, big ants. So yeah, Lao. We'll have a good explore in Lao. I don't know what to expect tonight. I feel like it'll be similar to Thailand but maybe like a bit more rural. And then we will be coming back to Thailand though, so don't worry. I feel but like it's harder in Lao to like find places that are a bit more secluded than... Because it's a smaller yeah. country, Lao. Liz. Awesome. Enjoy, thank you. Tom Sap, we need to try Tom Sap. Tom Sap. How put it around there, Tom? Yeah, tell us what food sorry. Oh, tell us what foods you should try because there's so many foods. Like we try and try as many as you can, but there's just there's just hundreds of Thai foods to try here. I just realised I cracked this up and the M150 bloody energy drink. Someone said have you recorded it? Yes. You, you'll be able to watch it after the stream. I think it should go onto the channel as like a like a replay. Is it? I don't know. We've never done this before. Still got ninety people watching. Thank you, everyone. An hour and twenty. Oh my. Have we missed any comments? Delicious snack with beers. What? Say, Rob. Once it gone. You are right. Perfect snack. Hmm. Kill it. Got this little chair, that's like a, a wonky. Mm. Oh no, I'm fasting, what's the time meant? Sorry. That you sound saucy. Mm. It is very delicious, it makes me feel better. Chat here, sorry. <clears throat> Steve, 11.20 pm. What time is it here? 7. 
Oh wow, it's crazy how Eastern Australia is a completely different time zone than like Perth and Western Australia. Thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Good night. Hope we had a cracking new year. Try the raw beef dishes. Stay tuned. Fried rice with fermented prawn paste. We, the other day we ate, was it fermented shrimp paste for the first time? Yeah, as well, so stay tuned for that. Grilled sticky rice. We've been eating grilled sticky rice laws mm. since we got to eat something like the hockey pucks. Really good stuff. Oh, Pevin Bird, hello from Come the on, Maldives. Bloody hell, Kev. Living it up. <laughs> Thank you. Where are you in the Maldives? Are you on holiday or are you living there? Elephant village. In Buriram. Is it nice? You wish you were living there, Kev. <laughs> Whereabouts do you live in? Australia. Hey, Will. Thanks so much. How are you doing? How was your new year? What chili do you like the most? Ginger. Dried chili, bell pepper chili. That's a very odd question. I really like the chilli paste. It depends what you're eating it with. Mm. I think. Is it all good, aren't they? Mm. Rainy UK, ah, uh, whereabouts in the UK? In the north. Happy New Year, Will. Got all kinds of snacks here, aren't they? <clears throat> quite hot, those little green chillies. Yeah, they are quite hot. <laughs> quite spicy. Yeah. What's this? We also got another type of sausage. 94 people. What, what's everyone doing? Yeah, what are you are doing? Are you celebrating New Year? Are you just chilling out? Let's try and get to 100 viewers. When are we going to call it a day? <laughs> when everyone leaves. <laughs> Down south. It could be worse, Kev. It could be from the north. It could rain all the time. All year. Happy New Year to you. Go on, let's get the stream to 100 viewers. Got another sausage here. This is another sausage. Oh, oh Beer's so Village. Good. With glass noodles inside. I doubt you can see because it's a phone camera. It's rubbish, but. How does it look? On, on the phone, does it look really bad? It looks alright, doesn't it? Does it look alright? It's on the inside camera. I tell you what, I'm loving this East Side music. Do you have any more questions I need to ask? Oh, what about... What about that one? Someone said, when you... What happened to the channel when you hit Tha Thailand? Your views went through the roof. What happened? I don't know. I think with YouTube, I feel like it's half luck and then half content. And then... Oh, it's a tough one because... Obviously, Thailand is a very searched for country on YouTube. Lots of people watch Thailand videos. So you have a bigger audience, whereas in like in like Eastern Europe, your audience is very small. And no people who live in the country and watch their own country either. They don't care. Whereas in Thailand, Thai people love watching people travel in their own country. So yeah, everything the channel just blew up and we're really grateful for it. Oh, you need to answer David's question. He's oh, not here, is he? It's not here. Tower David, another cracking YouTuber. <clears throat> no bullshit makes really good videos he said are you at the point that he experienced where you feel you have to stay in Thailand longer to capitalize on the audience or does travel itself override any growth goal like it did for him are you prepared to start from zero again if Thai subscribers become goal subscribers in a new country because for example you build up a huge Thai audience if you then go to Europe a lot of Thai people don't really want to watch you travel in Europe now for us, I think it's the same, we feel the same. We will always travel where we want to travel. A lot of people, I think, just travel to places because they know they'll get views, they know they'll make money, but we don't want to do that. We've, 
We'd rather just carry on doing what we enjoy, travelling to places we enjoy. If you watch, that's great. But if not, we're still going to do it because we, that's what we enjoy doing. We're not going to like sell our soul ever, really. Like a good example is like Armenia. Armenia video has got like no views. No views whatsoever. If he said you want to go out to Armenia, I'd be like, yes, let's go. <coughs> Sorry, I'm doing a, I'm doing a clean up on our ants. We've got a beer spilling. Oh, so wait, oh fuck. Ants the ants here are absolutely crazy. What else have we got? How do you find that trip? I think we would answer that. I'm just living off savings, we don't work. YouTube's a tough game, yes Tim. It's a bit ridiculous at times, isn't it? You travel to a new country. For example, you go to Europe. YouTube starts recommending your video to your old viewers. And then, they don't want to watch that country. So then, YouTube then takes that as a signal that your videos aren't very good. And then, yeah, it's just hard. It is a hard game. When you travel to different countries, it's hard to like keep an audience and build an audience. Ants need sausages too. That's they what they want. They want sausages. They want Leo. They want the Leo. They spilt Leo. Insect. Can you ask the insects? Are they too loud? Can you can you just hear the insects and not us speaking? <laughs> They're very loud. I'm not complaining though. That'll be really nice when we go to sleep and we can just hear those. Travelling for the heart, not the dollar. Well, that's the way it's got to be, really. We've just got to do what we enjoy. If we start travelling for the money, you might make money, but if we're not enjoying it, what's the point? I'm not going to lie, it's pointless. I don't think we still ever told our favourite dish in Thailand, did we? I think mean, it's too difficult. It's so hard. You have to like go into subgenres. Alright, I'll tell you some of my favourite dishes. It's still hard. Here we go. Favourite dishes. Well, for me, it's lard. I love lard. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like really spicy food. My favourite dish. Right. I like paprika. It's a stir fried dish. Mm. That's a really tasty dish. Oh, it's so hard. But I also like pack a pal, bull crab. One of my favourite noodle soups I had was in. What was it? Chantaburi. When we had the mm -hmm. Mu Liang like noodle, it was like a sweet pork and pineapple noodle soup, and it was absolutely delicious. One of my favourite noodle soups. But I really like Yentafo noodle soup. The other day we had a Yentafo Tom Yum hybrid. It was really good. Someone's going off. Sh Chef Aaron Slater. Cheers, Aaron. Happy New Year to you too. Chef. Yeah. Oh, he started following us because Gaz Butler mentioned us. Thanks so much. Mm. Most friendly people. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Have you ever been a picky eater? Now that's funny because when I was a kid, I was. A kid? When I first met Ellis, you wouldn't eat onions. Yeah, I was about 15. <laughs> so yeah, but now. Oh, my laptop's going to die. Now there's absolutely nothing that I will not eat. I say that. Well, I'll, st I'll stick to that actually. Yeah, I'll eat except, absolutely except anything. cucumber. <laughs> What's all put there? I thought Cricket was in my room. No. They're making a ruckus, aren't they? So I'll go back to work. All right, enjoy your shift. One thing you dislike about Thailand? Yeah, like we said, we've not really found something yet. One thing that annoys me is the fact that I have to book a bus in advance because everyone books the buses. Maybe if like foreigners have to pay like ten times the price. If we have that to would like, annoy me, yeah. But we yeah, haven't had that. Yeah. Have we? But if we did, then it would annoy us. We're lucky with the places we've travelled to in Thailand. There's no dual pricing so far. In fact, everything's been free. <laughs> All the temples and stuff's been free. I think if you go to more like Western tourist areas, then you have to pay for a lot more, don't you? Oh. That's a good question from Larry. What's your favourite province in Thailand so far? Hmm. That's well, I a think really tough question. The one that we've just been in. Bunkan. Yeah. 
purely because I feel like it's so un unexplored and it's literally in the middle of nowhere, there's nothing around it like for any for any typical tourist to go to that there's literally no one there. No, it's just pro that's proper East Han, isn't yeah. it? It's so rural. And the people were so friendly and nice over there, lovely people. So maybe I would like to explore that more. Yeah, I would go back. Mm. I wish we had more time here now, but our visa, no, our, like, visa time runs out, which is just sad, isn't it? We'll have to come back. Atmosphere now looks great, it's so refreshing. You mean, where was that? Right now? Yeah. It's really chilled out. I'm just literally, the Mekong is, what, 30 metres over there. Mm -hmm. Crickets, a bit of East Side music blasting from that truck. Quiet, isn't it? Peaceful. A few peeps have dropped out. I've got 59 people. Oh, it's only 61 now. <laughs> We're not going to hit the magic hundred. Yeah. You're going to get fat on fried everything. Yep, Kevin. <sighs> what can you do? <laughs> Sometimes we we like, eat so much stuff. I'm like, how are we not getting fat? And I think we will be getting fat. Probably. What did we eat the other day? We got 20,000 steps a day sometimes. <laughs> No, so that's why we're not getting fat because we're walking so much. Well, maybe we're just telling ourselves we're not getting fat because we're walking so much. Tell us, do we look fatter? Are we getting fatter video by video? <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Would any friends, family join you? Um, my parents are going to fly out and meet us in India at some point next year. This year? Oh. This year, it's 2023. <laughs> Four hours on the most uncomfortable motorbike ever to them. It was really bad that day. Want to get this drink? Hour and a half. Surely my phone's gonna die. I'll keep it going for a bit longer. And then we'll probably shoot off. Anyone got any more questions? Our laptop's dead. Sweating helps keep your weight in check. It's so humid. When we first got here, yeah, it was ridiculously humid, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not as bad up here in in northeastern Thailand. Here is a lot cooler, but I don't know how. But the sun just feels like when the sun is on you, it feels like instant sunburn. Oh, I'm very, so my hand is red. You can't see. But then it feels the temperature actually feels cooler. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Did you see any fireworks? Yes, there were lots of fireworks. We were we were on a, a lake and everyone was lighting fireworks around the lake. M150. <laughs> M150. I usually drink the, the Thai Red Bull, the original Red Bull. But I also like the M150. <laughs> Had to go out and buy food. Because he's so eating his sandwiches. It's just sausage. one of the best snacks. It's just so good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> What's that say? How you manage to keep your hair shiny and gorgeous all the time? Love you. Gun M M C D. Love you too. Honestly, I don't know because I'm using like shampoo that I bought. Where did I even buy it? In Georgia. Russian shampoo that I bought in Georgia. <laughs> I just, I just wash my hair and go like, let it dry. <laughs> I got it cut in Thailand. It was quite a good experience actually. 450 baht it cost. 450? Uh, 150, sorry, not 450. 150 baht. Four pounds. Really good price, isn't it? Mmm. Panther's going. Thanks for tuning in, Panther. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Panther. Good night. Happy New Year. Have a good night. You like M150? Do Thai people drink these energy drinks? These really sweet energy drinks? If so, what, what is your favourite? M150, Red Bull, Carabao? What's the best? M150. It's like, it's like an awkward silence, isn't it? It's like we put that on because when we don't speak, it's an awkward silence. I love.
sight of it's a scar to my friend. Look at the bullet. Oh, you mean the bullet might come back down and hit someone? I don't know how we heard that. I don't think we've heard that yet. No, I'm sure that there is some sort of <laughs> celebration like <laughs> that. I read that then as the mullet man. Why you say that? Where it says shoot, and luckily the mullet man hit someone. Ask you some questions. Oh Happy God. New Year, thank you. Can I have a bit? Oh, you've got another Kalmar toilet. We got three. Oh, guys, well, thank you so much. I can't believe you donated. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Have a nice night. What's your plan tomorrow? What are we doing tomorrow? We're going back to Nakon Panon because we have to go to Ubon Rachakani. Thank you, Orgasmo. Go to the bar to get a drink. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a good holiday. Everyone's off now. Yeah. Could we go on? We'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll shoot off. Anyone got any more questions? I said this was a Q&A live show, I haven't really done much Q&A. Eh? And chime rubbish. Oh, that's what you were going to do. M150 and B are mixed together. I, sorry, I was going to mix them together, yeah, I forgot. Mm. Have you tried to pull your M150? Mm, I have mixed it. Oh. Next time we'll try it, definitely, yeah. That's funny. If he has sound, I put you as three on my feet. You can sleep to the sound. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, they must be maybe at the lights. You like M150? It might be my favourite as well. It competes with the Red Bull. I'm like, it's really ridiculously late now. So, what do you cap? Appa. Thanks for tuning in. Give it a couple more minutes and then I think we will go. Yeah, it's been really good, this. Thank you so much, anyone who has joined in. Anyone who's asked questions, anyone who's donated. If anyone ever does want to donate on the channel in the little about page, there is some donation links. We always appreciate it. Eating oh, and drinking my favorite activities. Jim. Jim's a regular commenter. Jimmy? Yeah. Oh, Jim Persol. Jim's a regular subscriber here on the channel. Happy New Year, Jim. I agree. Eating is definitely one of my favourite activities. Oh, Lecky. Oh, thank you so much, Lecky. You're so kind. Six rooms in the hall. People sleep early, yes. I think most people are asleep around here. Because people get up at the sunrise. Everyone is up. This morning we were driving and it was literally, the sun had just come up and everyone in the village was up. It's a way, way. Yeah. Doing, doing all kinds of stuff. The fire going. Next location, Ubon Ratchatani. But, like I said before, the videos are like just over a week behind, so there's a few a few locations coming. Really good locations, we've been to some really good places recently in Thailand. Does everyone understand me when I speak? It's a good question. Do, do Thai people understand my accent easily? In English. Or do, do I need to speak clearer? Bangkok people never sleep. No, they don't. Party, party, party. 
crazy Bangkok. Paprika deep fried crickets. Mm. I actually really like the deep fried crickets. They're a really good snack. Please speak US English. Alrighty. Australian. Alrighty. No, that's not sure. Alrighty. Alrighty. That's saying that's US. I said speak US English. American. I can't do, that's one accent I can't do, US accent. Can't do it. Because there's so many different accents, isn't there? There's Southern accent, New York accent. Every state sounds different. But yeah, America, they say some strange words, don't they? We use all the different words. Motorway, Americans say highway. 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 Garbage. Coriander, cilantro. What else? Then the trash can. We just said the bin. Water. Water. Yeah, no one understands when you say water. Water. Well, what else? Water. 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 You can't okay. take a shower away. <laughs> it's cold. It's very cold. I'm cold. It's cold. You're crazy. Right. When it gets to one hour and 45, you cut it off. Your accent is great. Ties like my accent. Oh, no. I've seen some games where it gets flat. Yeah, they don't put any intonation in the sentences, so. No. no, I think the British English is. Elite. Elite. The supreme. Oh, the original. I can't read that comment, Lisa. In Thai. Oh, that's, it's crazy because your, your words are just. There's no spaces. I mean, it's probably not crazy to you, but to us, that's very crazy. Because we've never known a language that has no spaces in between words. Oh, never. Never even known of a tonal language until we came here. <laughs> what the tunes going? That's it. Fireworks going off now over there on the Lao side. I can't wait for this. The Lao Market. Mm. There's a Lao Market outside, literally outside, outside. our room. <laughs> At 6 a.m. They're gonna wake us up, aren't they? Literally this far away from the room, literally like a meter. What was that one? No full stop. No, it's everything. Just, just um, long words. Really hard alphabet though, like some alphabets are easy, like we can read Cyrillic, like the Russian alphabet, we can learn that, but Thai, we'll be able to learn it, I think it would just take quite a while because it's so much, so different, and because of the tones, obviously the five tones is just, that's what makes it so hard, if, if it wasn't tonal, I think it would be alright. 44 letters. How many do we have? Oh, Tony Charles is here. Yes, Tony, man. That was Thailand treating you. Are you still in Thailand? Vietnam? What about some Vietnam? Are you liking it? Hanoi, oh wow. How is it? We're really excited to visit Hanoi. Have you seen any foreign there? No. No. <laughs> Only we saw like for, for language like Taiwan. <laughs> here? Not not here, but where we've just been. Oh in in Benkan. And in and in the Kompanon we also see just foreigners with Thai wives. But we've yeah. not seen any. Maybe we've seen like a, on in the walking street in the Kompanon we saw like we saw two, didn't we? Yeah. People who just come back from doing the Lao loop, they come back here and then they go straight to Bangkok. No, in this part of Thailand there is not there's not really any foreigners. Tourists anyway. Which is cool. I like your video on Happy Bond. Somnoe. I probably butchered the pronunciation on that. 
sad person who watched the video to me. Um, thanks for watching us. Weed, your weed video is demonetized. 5,000 views a day. Absolute classic. You've done you there, haven't they? <laughs> Demonetization. Mostly retired from I need to rest in East Ham because it's peaceful, yeah. I don't blame them to be honest for coming here or anywhere in Thailand. It is peaceful. And the people are so like, nasty and relaxed. There's nothing going on. If you can survive East Ham, you'll find it out. Yeah, it's si life here is just simple, it's easy. I really like it, yeah. 44 concerts, 5 obsolete, more levels. 26 in English. Yeah. A bit more difficult. A little bit in it. Just a little bit. It's cool that you can eat spicy food. Yeah. My pet my alloy. Spicy food is delicious. East Sand culture. Mixed with Mixed Cambodia. Cambodia well. Ah, yes. Well, they're pretty much just across the border. It's so close to Laos. The language is similar as well. We saw some traditional dancing the other day in Nakhon Phnom, which looked like Lao dancing as well. I'm so tired. They're sending me to sleep. The that noise is like. It is the. What time is it? Quarter to eight at night. What? Where are you? Are you in the UK? The crickets are probably louder than us. <laughs> Columbus, Ohio. Wow. What a place. Oh, is it cold? Ohio. But it's freezing in Ohio. Ohio. They say you're sleeping. How can you sleep it? Because we get up today, what time do we wake up? Five? Five AM? Self for six. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long day. And the same yesterday too. Two long days. Mm hmm And then tomorrow also. No, it's it's not easy this travelling business. Chang Kong. Where's Chang Kong? So you have seen Mark Lee, of course. My pet, my kid, not spicy, not easy. Classic. Oh, Mark Wings, yeah, he's one of the gods. Can be a bit eccentric, but he knows his stuff. I had a blizzard last week. Oh. oh, how cold is it? Like minus 10. Couldn't even imagine that it's kind of it. 16 degrees and we're like shivering. We're so cold. <laughs> 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 loud I know. What should I do? Boot it off? Should, we go on? Give should him, I give hang on to you? Go over there, see if, he, see if he goes. I think he's made a light. He's in that palm tree. Tight and loud, mutually intelligible. Same time, but I'll go and lose it off. Cambodian is a separate tribal language. So if we go to Lao, they, they should understand our little Thai. Enjoy our fun. Thank you, Chat. Bamboo trees. Yeah. Got bamboo trees on the porch. Anyway, the cricket, unfortunately, I can't see it, so. We can't evacuate the cricket, it will not budge. It's doing a dirty protest. Two hours, it's quite a. I actually wasn't even expecting to. Tim's going. Check out Tim's channel, everybody. Really good guy. Catch up soon. Yep, we'll have to meet in Asia. 100k in 2023. Yep, that's our goals. Random crickets. Great. Thank you 
everybody for watching, anyone who donated, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate you watching. Might do some more of these. You never know. Every now and then. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. How do you end the stream? Let's, we'll call it there. Otherwise, we'll just end up carrying on all night. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Happy New Year, everyone. Couple of my cap. Good night. Good, Good night, night. Jane. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, we'll have some new videos coming soon. Thank you, everybody. Good night. How do you say goodnight in Thai? Someone told us this and I forgot. Is it Fandi? I can't remember. Someone tell us that and then we'll go. Fandi. Is it Fandi? Or is it not? I don't know. Mm. Goodnight. Lag on. Is that Lag goodbye? On. Lag on. Lag on. Yes. What? Fandi. Oh, lag on. <laughs> lag on. Are you sure that's goodbye? Oh, someone's put it in tie up there. For sake. Right. Thank you. Goodbye. The Queen's Word. The Queen's Word. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, RIP. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs>